Okay, what we have here is our 1978 Dustcraft 20-foot travel trailer. We're going to give you a little demonstration on how to get it set up for your little camping adventure. So, first thing you want to do, get out your keys. And it's the true value key. Unlock the lock. So we don't forget it. And I usually just hook it on here. Unlock the door. Take a step inside. Check the place out, make sure everything's okay. Make sure no branches fell through the roof or anything. So we're in. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to come outside. There's this little latch here. This can come down and that holds the door open. And then you can shut this screen. So now over here, we want to open this shade up. So basically to do that, you just pull this pin out right here and you pull that up. And you pull this down right here and just rest it on here. That's the one side. You do the same thing over here. Just rest that on there. Here's a little string here if you want to hang any uh, bathing suits or towels or anything. If it starts to rain when you're here, you can put your stuff here. Otherwise, there's a line over in between the two trees there where we can hang things up. But if it gets, if it gets uh, rainy out, you can just hang them here and it'll be safe underneath here. Uh, after that, you can come back in. And you can proceed with opening the windows to let the air in. So they're all just regular crank windows. One there. One over here. That way you can get it nice and aired out. You have one over here with a broken crank. You can still turn it open. These are just all regular louver windows. This one you're not going to be able to really open because there's a canopy support over there. We also have the vents up here. Just be careful you don't leave those open if it's going to rain. Which we just had a lot of rain here. Another crank here. I usually like to open them all up just to get it nice and get the air flow through. Let the camper breathe a little bit. Okay. We have our windows open now. Okay, now we're going to go back outside and we'll show you how to set up the electric. I usually use this wire here. Or the yellow one on the spool there, it doesn't really make a difference. Come back here to the back side. You have this little plate here. Pop that open. Pull out your cord. I usually pull that out pretty much as far as it'll go. Pop that back down. And that just helps keep any kind of rodents or critters out from going in there. Plug in. We're not gonna we're not gonna go all the way over now, but basically you're gonna take this, go right to the other side of the motorhome here, and we're gonna plug it in. Right where the electric box is over there on the pole. There's an outlet over there, you can just plug it in. After that's done, you come back in. And all your lights and electric and everything will work in here, including the refrigerator. Inside the refrigerator, you just want to open it up. You have two dials here. You have gas and electric. You're going to turn the electric to on. That's going to turn the refrigerator on. 
You don't have to worry about anything about the gas because we're not using the gas right now. And you don't have to worry about the heater because we can do that in another video for winter time. So this is an all electric hookup right now. Uh, obviously your oven's not going to work because that runs on gas. And in here we have the bathroom. What we do in here is we take a bucket of water and we dump it in the toilet. You can use the restroom. And when you're done, just flush it down with a little bit of water. And that goes into a tank outside. Come back out here. Now this part of our video, this is a little important. If you want to set up the awning, I'll show you how to do that. Probably want to close that and you want to pull this light down right here. That's your outside porch light. You just want to pull that down so it's not in your way. You're going to take this whole support here, this little handle here, you can just lift up and it'll bring it right out of that bracket there. And let it sit there. This one here, you're going to do the same thing. What that does is it puts it into like a carport mode. But now that I'm thinking of it, we're not really going to do the carport. We're going to do the regular awning. So we're going to put this back in here. We're just going to set it up like this. Now the camera is going to back up a little bit because this might be wet up here from all the rain. We don't want any water falling. So basically, if you just pull these supports down, we're just gonna go down together. All right, so all the, all the rain's pretty much off. And what you can do is pull this up. Any distance that you want, you can bring that out. I usually bring it right to the end. If you look over here, there's a little there's a little wheel that you spin just to lock this upper support in place. You just turn that, that locks that in place. You bring this up. You do the same thing right here. If you look over on this side, it has this wheel here. You just pull that out, and then it catches right on this rail here. So that's that side. Come over here. Do the same thing. Loosen this. Let that out. Pull this up. Lock. Pull that up. that in place. Now you have yourself a nice little canopy. That's pretty much it. So again this is a 1978 Dutch Craft Travel Trailer. It's all set up ready to use. You can also come back and put your porch light back up with included bug lamp. Pop that in there and you're good to go. So that's pretty much it. If there's any questions, you can contact our sales crew for uh, any help you may need. Thanks a lot, and have a good time.